All right, now, there really aren't a lot of videos available of the Mohican Park and Pack sites. This is site number 10. As you can see here, if you want a hammock, there's a lot of good opportunities. There's a flat spot down here, and then I took a kind of flat spot here because I wanted to have this little view. I don't trip here. Top my tarp up for this tree. Nice view of the gorge down there. It's a huge gorge here at Mohican. Fire going. Yeah, I know. But it's awesome back here. I mean, it's it's free too. That's about maybe three quarters of a mile back here. Really easy walk. And because it's so short of a walk, you can bring more gear than you might, you know, if you're normally backpacking. So there's my Osprey 70 liter pack, just chilling. Tennessee hammock. I use a tarp from my Marmot 3 tent, Marmot uh, Limelight 3. Put that on the ground down there. So yeah, it's really nice back here. I mean, I would say I'm a good three eighths of a mile from Site 9. And this forest back here really cool apologize for the quality here I am taking this with a terrible phone but right now there is some noise because uh, the mountain bike trails right over there and there's people hiking and yelling and doing stupid stuff but that's cool because it's the forest and you're allowed to I imagine it'll get nice and quiet here Main problem is there isn't much fuel in the way of wood. A lot of it's been taken. So, whatever. Not cooking on there anyway. Cooking on my little stove. So yeah, if you're a hammocker, I can't imagine any of them being bad, although I did read a comment somewhere that Site 8, maybe? Isn't that good for hammocking? But I can't imagine how. Look at all the trees back here. And I found there's a couple of really good level areas to put a hammock up down there. You know, obviously you don't even need a level area with a hammock. I didn't necessarily use one here. But get a few tents in here. Good flat area down there for tents. And I suppose you could put one right there. Maybe a couple. But it's getting close to the fire pit. So. Anyway, park and pack. Free. The gravel road to get out here is a bit interesting. I have a little Mazda, but it made it. So, I'm going to go harvest some more fuel. And if you're even thinking about coming out to this place, do it because it's fantastic. Plus, there are lots of other trails if you want to make it a longer loop. I'm just trying to chill. Anyway, see you later.